dropping a mini rod down. There you go, nice tuna to start the day. Nice talk. Big old blue from tuna, look at that. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Amateur out here. He lost his hat. We're heading offshore to the Thompsons. Hopefully, catch a swordfish. My dog Jacob for some tuna. He's got a wet hat now. We got 16 more miles to go to the tuna ground. It's time to drop the jigs. Try to get jiggy with it. We're watching black fin tunas to start the day. It looks nice now. There's a lot of rain, a big mass of weather coming. Um, sometimes you get lucky and it avoids it, but it could hit us later on. But we're gonna drop these jigs down, try to get some tunas to start the day, and go from there. The mixed stick, 10 torque, 25 on here, some light braid. You guys ain't gonna hear the end of it. It's real important to just keep it nice and tight with this jig, you know. Well, there are. Uh... Oh, oh, double. Oh, get tight on my bow. Doubled up. Oh, I just, oh, he came up. We lost the one on the top. We got one on back here now. The minis are hooked up. No jig. Double mini. Oh, yeah. Get on the jig action, you guys. Oh, yeah, taking line. That's what I like to see. Down now. Oh yeah! Look at him going, dumping it. Came up easy, then he went down deep. Nice tuna, nice job. Get that tuna. There you go, nice tuna to start the day. Quick one. There you go, first drop. Nice tuna on the jig on the mini. Bleedy bleed. Get in there, bud. Yes, sir. There you go. Mini on the mini, Conrad's tight. Oh, he's bleeding. Old skipjack tuna, there you guys. A little different flavor. Really good bait. Some people do eat them fresh too, actually. All right, I'm gonna reset you yeah, guys. They're, one they're blue, pretty guys. cool. They got that, that blue back. Drift number two coming up. Let's get some more black fins there. Conrad got a nice one to start. I don't think these rods are a joke, they're no joke. They're fun. I took the backing plate off though. Uh -huh. We've got the spinner, we got a conventional. Oh, we get more spinners in stock soon. We've been out for a while. Yep. He's whooping us off. Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. We're tight. We're tight in the back. Look at the little stands Dude, the minis are tearing them up. We ain't getting them on the bigger jigging rods. Look at them, listen to them go. Look at that, dumping it. It's dumping it. That's what it's about. Yeah. Dropping that iron out here, boys. Yeah, it's 10 pounds, I bet. Oh, yeah. Doing the death circle. Doing the death spins. Did it come off, Andy? Oh, nuts. It's a 10 pounder again on the jig. Boom, drill him, headshot. You have to feed these guys. I'm trying at this point. We're working on it. Bleedy bleed. Little bleedy bleed. Nice job, guys. How long have we been fishing together? 12 years or more? Uh, longer, actually. 13 or uh, 14? Our first ever trip was bleed. It was? Yes. Yeah. It wasn't with me, you, and Matt? With the snappers you, and tunas? And, and you got oh, was it Lee and Matt? Was it both of them, yeah. maybe? Yeah, but they had to. What year? Well, I'm going to say you were 25. 13 years ago. Wow. Oh, yeah, at least. We've been fishing again for 13 years. I think so. I remember mean, we caught a ton of tunas. A ton of caught, tunas on the some, way out. And then some red snappers on the way home or something. Yep, I got I that. I kind of remember. Yeah, a long time ago. A long time ago. We got a blue mark. Got a lot of fish together over the years. Had plenty of good days, a couple slow ones too. Swordfish ledge. 
Well, we'll see if there's any swordfish here, but we made it to the ledge where they're usually at. Looking for redemption. Two years ago, we fought a big one here with these guys for over two hours. Had them by the boat once. Thought we were going to catch them. Lost them after two hours. Nice fishing. Oh, we did get a white marlin. You didn't get a white marlin. Years ago, I think. So. Yep, we did. Yep. That's some good fish over here. The lead's rigging out here. We're getting the rods ready. We're going to set up here momentarily. Just drifted an hour and 20 minutes. The squid's destroyed the bait. There's bait down there. Drop bait. number two. Squid's got us on the first one. But we're going back out. Could be the drop. Nice top. Nice, nice throw. Long way down. 1,500 feet. Hey, you're paying like 150 bucks less than a house bait. How close I am. Another hour drifting to bites. That's sword fishing. Good going. Let's hook up. But we're going to check the bait. Squid's got us last time. We will see if Squid's got us this time or not. Untouched. Might have just been an early morning squid bite. Third time's a charm, hopefully. Get a house out. Bites yet, but we think we just marked one up here. If you look at it right there, that looks the old swordfish mark on the bottom there, you know, just off it 1730 feet. That the bait's still set, but no strikes yet. Dude, I'm just not my yeah. pull on it. Yeah. You want me to? Nah, nah, see what I have to do. I'm gonna fight the buoy right the, now. The buoy is gone. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at like just over three to where. All right, yeah, let's see if it pops back up with it. Big taking line down deep with a ball on. Uh, I know. History repeats itself. All right, now this thing's racing up, obviously. Yeah, I would say. Racing up. Look at that thing crush. Could be the big one. Sank it, put down. Looks like he's coming up now. Let's get tight on him again. Started racing it again. As soon as I came tight there. Oh yeah. Right up there now. Yeah, he's gonna move right where you're sitting at. He caught me off guard, dude. That was pretty, pretty intense there for a minute. Still oh, right. He's swimming up. He's coming up. All right, there. come on. Get on there. So I got the drag pretty light. Yeah, you can back it up a little bit more. You can speed up as soon as your rod starts to bend over. Slow it down though. You know, come up underneath the boat. Big sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get underneath us. There's no telling where he's coming Wait, up. Where's the camera at on that boat? Come up. Oh, she's racing. Jesus. Oh, oh. Big fish. Fish went down about 800 feet. She's yeah, angry. Came racing up, zipping near the surface, back down about 700 feet down. Get her back up. That's the real one. Is the only one. Promise that. We got a real one on. <laughs> Scared the feet out of Nick. I'm gonna go back there and make the. Leak. Leak, 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 leak. Big one. If he wants to run, let him run. Suck the buoy under. Race, race, then race the let up. Line up, Andy. This is a real deal right here. We're waiting a lot of years with this one. She's coming up quick. She's flying. Came up there. Thought we are going to see her scoped up, but she's going back down now. But she's popping back up now. You never know. I'm like, going up in there. I'd like to see her. No, we can't. Be here for a while. Hopefully, she's out good. Most of the year to the date, Mike and Lee hooked a big giant sword here. All in nine hours, didn't get it, but maybe this is a brother. It's within a few days, that, within a few days Richard, of the day. Richard had the Coast Guard flying around, calling, oh, flying yeah. over us. Coast Guard, are you guys okay? What? About 35 minutes in. I don't know how big it is, but I know it's a big one. I promise you that. I came back on. 
kind of looks like tail beast on that rod, just throbbing, so it could be fallow to a tail. If it is, hopefully it's in there good. Or it could be wrapped up. We've been there before. We had tail come on a couple years ago, we lost, but hopefully this one's a different ending. We just hit the hour and five minute mark. This just went down over 1,400 feet. You know, it was down, seven hundred, went down to 13, came up a bit, went back down. The buoy mark came out where the float was, you know, the shallower mark there. Just getting it back in the roll now, you can see it. It's over an hour in. This would uh, make our day. Here we're zero, baby. That's what it's about. We got our shot. It's not steady. The tip's very erratic, very jumpy, which is a fallow fish or something like that wrapped up. Hopefully it's not good no matter what. There's no telling, but hopefully we can find out and see. This makes us nervous. It's that tip really jumpy. He's down there swimming with 2,300 feet of line out. We we're at full of drag, about probably 40 pounds. Maybe more because there's so much line out. The smaller the spool gets, the more drag you get, more pressure. So. Oh, there's big clumps of weed on line out, extra pressure. I'm not going to hold up or not. Yeah, Over two and a half hours. We finally got the fish planning up. He's coming up. We're kind of dragging him up. We're just losing a little bit of line just now, but very little. Um, I'm thinking of big tuna, but you never know, it could be a giant swordfish that's dead, but we do think whatever it is might have died. But it's, we have 2,500 feet of line out, so we're trying to get him up. We're going to go back, we're going to pick up the line before he sinks down. There's a 10 pound lead on there, too, because that's what we're using. We never got it off, so that's going to sink down with him. But we're going to start coming back in a second there and try to pick up as much line as possible. And see if everything holds. Tackle tester for uh, past the normal amount of line out, so back into the back up. All right, get ready. We're gonna come back on and see if we can get some line. See what happens. She's flying now. She's flying now. We're gonna get as much as we can. We'll keep doing that and just pray everything holds. Come on back. Come on back, baby. Come on back. Blue line. There we go. There's the blue line. We got blue line. One splice back there. We got another double line in the blue, and we got a buoy marked to white. I'd love to see white. We'd be a lot happier if we could see some white line here. That's the fresh line on top. It helps. There's a splice. We got one splice on. That was the one we were nervous about. We put that fresh one in today. Uh, we're not going to get it here. You're going to have to pull ahead again. Okay. That's okay. That's all right. At least we got, uh, got a lot of seaweed off. We got a lot of seaweed off the line and got help one more splice ahead, back on the reel. We're going back again here. Barely go back, dude. You don't even need okay. to. Okay. I know what you want. There's no whiteness. The white braid, right, guys. Pull ahead, pull ahead, pull ahead. Keep coming. Keep coming more. What do you do? We keep doing this. Man. I know, but you can probably get two of them more seaweed now. Tight. Tight. You're just going to start sinking is what's going to happen. Okay. Fish of a lifetime on here, no, no doubt about it, whatever it is. Don't get that if you turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Back your drag up just a little bit. There's a wind on leader, 150 feet away, whatever it is. Big tuna. Tuna. Boy. You're right. Oh, wow. Giant tuna, guys. Wow. Holy moly. Big old bluefin tuna. Look at that. Oh, my God. Holy smokes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Giant bluefin tuna, you guys. Unfortunately, it died. I'm on it for a while, but it's a big fish. Oh. Tuna blue. Tuna blue, you guys. Big blue from tuna here, probably 500 pounds. We cannot keep him, so we're gonna have to cut him and let him sink, unfortunately, but a casualty of war. I mean, I hate to see it. This in season, you know, when season opens up, there could be a hundred thousand dollar fish. You know, and, and that, it's not season, so we'll see him later. Something else to eat him, unfortunately, just the way the rules go. So long, buddy. Sorry about that. Part of fishing, but Second epic fish, fan. man. Second blue fin, the con Conrad, Derek, Andy, me, Lee, and Landon behind the camera. Thank you very much. Thank you. Quite the experience, so.
We'll see you guys back at the dock there. We got blackfin tuna to eat anyhow, so we'll see you guys back at home. What was your name again? Right. Good to see you. How are you guys doing? We're good, and you? We're doing well. How about everybody else over here? All these guys have been waiting on you for about an hour and a half. Hey, Clay. Look at that. You should have this home. How about you? I like your shirt. How you doing, bro? Doing well. How are you? Good. Where are you from? South Georgia. South Georgia. Okay, awesome. South Georgia. Pleasure. South Georgia in the house. Yeah, these boys have been. Yeah, I've seen them coming there and uh, you guys doing good? We actually caught our first selfie you did? on our boat. Okay, yeah. awesome. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are trolling or a live bait dripping or what? We were actually trolling. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, it was cool, man. You're gonna awesome mount experience. It? Yeah, we are. Okay. My man caught it on his own rig. It's everything. Well, you mind if the kids get a picture? Yeah, no, no, let's grab a quick picture. We, when I was a kid, we used to fish here and then. We stopped fishing all the tarpon showed up looking like pets now. So yeah. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that video. The bluefin tuna was special. You know, unfortunately, it was a day before season where we could keep it with our commercial permit. But, uh, you know, it's fishing and it happens to people not all the time, but it does happen. That was only the third bluefin tuna I've ever caught here and fishing here, sword fishing for over 15 years. What is it now? Uh, 17, 18 years of sword fishing. So every five or six years, we get a shot at it. And there's only ever been a handful of bluefin tuna caught here on this dock, you know, these boats. So, very rare, but it was a heck of a creature, heck of a battle, and uh, just unfortunately a day early, so it is what it is. But had a blast, we caught the blackfin tunas, been fishing Andy and his kids for a long time. It was some of my longest clients. They grew up with me fishing on the B&M, actually, and you know, they've grown with me and my business since then, and I've watched their kids grow up, you know, uh, Derek and Conrad, so it's been cool, and been a good friendship, and uh, you know, and all that. When we came back to the dock, it was awesome seeing all the fans there, you know, everybody that watches the show, follows along on Instagram and Facebook. So really appreciate that, appreciate all the support. Um, I know you guys have been wondering how come I haven't been out there fishing on the broad minded as much the last year. I have, I've had some health issues like the last 15, 16 months. So getting ready to go back to the doctor now, I've had a few surgeries and uh, still struggling with that, but hopefully I'll be out there in a couple more months. You know, I've kind of stopped taking new bookings offshore. Um, I had to postpone all my swordfish camps, but Hopefully I'll be back out there soon, and as soon as I can, I'll put a you know a post out there, some email blast and all that. So thank you for watching the end of the video. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, come on down here to Bud and Mary's. Check it out. Come fishing, stay in the hotel rooms. Well, they go offshore with Mike. He caught a couple of swordfishes last trip. They had mutton snappers and mahi the other day as well. So it's summertime here. Everyone's having a good time, and uh, that's all we got for you. So if you want any merch, head to the website standfishing.com. We got all our clothing on there, our board shorts, our fishing shorts, our rods. That's all I got for you. So we're out. We'll see y'all next time.